take a trip on that good old gospel ship.
Praise the Lord, church. Good morning, everyone. Jesus, he definitely will fix it. Might not be today, but after a while. We're going to ask uh, Sister Dylan to come on up for announcements. After that, we'll... Good morning, Saints. Good morning. Good morning. This week's announcements, in addition to those, for well, most of all, this is in the information bulletin. However, I do have a few to announce and want to put emphasis on a particular event that's coming up. And that's this Wednesday, July the 24th, the UBMC Consecration and BCCE Installation Service at 7 o'clock. Um, at the Radisson, Baltimore Radisson Hotel. I'm sorry, the Central Baptist Church, 2035 West Baltimore Street. And this is part of the National Baptist Deacons Convention that's going on in Congress, which all deacons are um, encouraged to attend, starting this evening at 7 o'clock on Friday, July the 26th. Pastor will be preaching Wednesday at the Consecration and Installation Services. Amen. Again, Pastor will be preaching, so he is expecting all of us to be there in support of him. And I was reminded to remind you that we are not only representing the pastor, but we are also representing our church, where you say, John, the Jew, the greatest, as Pastor Foster always say. So therefore, we are expected to be on our best behavior, our best attire, looking good, and representing the pastor in fashion and in order. Also, this Friday, the 26th, is movie night at 7 o'clock p.m. Our youth will have been having another successful movie night, night at 7 o'clock. Next week, please come out and support our young people. And then Saturday, the 27th, is our Hershey trip, Great St. John Hershey trip. The van will be leaving here Saturday at 8.30 a.m. and will leave the park. 6 o'clock p.m. arriving back here at 8 o'clock. So if you're riding the van, you need to be here by 8.30. And at, at the 6 o'clock at the van at the park by 6 o'clock so that you can um, catch your ride and not be left behind. So again, we'll be leaving at 8.30 here, 6 o'clock at the park on Saturday. And you can see Sister Jasmine Pitts for your tickets for those who have not yet gotten their tickets. The van also will leave here Wednesday at 5.15, due to the water main break and the traffic downtown and rush hour, uh, we want to get there on time, so the van will be leaving here at 5.15. I ask those that need a ride in the van to please give me your name after service today. I only have one name so far, and that's not looking good. That's with all of us here, so if you need a ride, please be here at the church at 5.15 or Wednesday, the 24th. Then if you need, to, need the band, please see me after service. Or sometime during service, prefer me after service. And um, I will put your name on the list for Brother Greg. As I stated, the other announcements are in your program. Please be mindful of them. We have a church meeting coming up at um, August the 3rd, Saturday, 11.30. All is expected to attend. And we have our national night out coming up. 5 o'clock on Tuesday, August the 6th. And then Sunday, August the 1st, we're back to our fall hours. The service will begin at 10.45, not 9.45, on Sunday, um, September the 1st. The, uh, to my understanding, the GSJ Cafe will also be open <coughs> on Sunday, September the 1st. As mentioned before, it's, uh, Michelle's on vacation for the month of July and August. That concludes this week's announcement. Oh, I do have one more, I'm sorry. To all Turner Station residents, Baltimore County Code Enforcement will be conducting a sweep in the community on Thursday, July the 25th. 
is this Thursday, July the 25th. We encourage all residents to clean up trash and debris, to cut and trim tall grass, and remove bulk items from your yards and property to prevent being fined by the county. This comes from the Turner Station Conservation and Housing Teams. Again, this Thursday, Baltimore County is doing a sweep. Please uh, let your neighbors know, if you have elderly neighbors, please help them out with cleaning their yards and getting trash and debris, cutting the grass down so that you won't be fined by the county. And again, that's this Thursday, the 24th. We don't have a time, so I think we'll be all day, so it's best to get it done before Thursday. That concludes this week's announcements. Thank you. God bless you. Let's continue to pray for one another. We set up a special prayer for Baltimore City. I uh, hear our own commissioner and his wife was robbed yesterday or day before yesterday on Madison Park Avenue. And if you're robbing the commissioner, you can imagine what they'll be doing to us. So again, let's just continue to pray for one another because we do know that prayer changes things. Thank you. God bless you. Have a blessing. One thing I 
did forget the deacons. Need to meet with all the deacons at the church briefly. Gregory, if you can hear this, we need you too. All right? Right at the service.
Yes, I. Yes, I. Is on the spell. And I sure enough know that he watches over me. All we have to do is trust in the Lord. And when you trust in the Lord, I declare he will make everything all right. Let us not forget, uh, Sister Lou had already made the announcement on Wednesday night, 7 o'clock, at the Central Baptist Church, a pastor will be bringing the message, the word that night, and he expects all of us to be there. Amen. The band will be going. And I'm sure a lot of you will be driving. But however we get there, we are expected to be there on Wednesday night. We won't be too long this morning just because it is good and hot outside. And for a while, they start getting a little hot in here. We are grateful to God that we can feel just a little bit of air now. We're not going to be long. We're going to move right along. In First Thessalonians chapter 5 I want to look briefly at verses 16 through 18. First Thessalonians Chapter 5, verses 16 through 18. And it reads as thus Rejoice evermore. Pray without ceasing. And everything you think for that is the, is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. Amen. 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 We got some, we have some instruction. Give thanks. Praise God. But we have to do something else. We have to listen. To the still small voice of the Lord. Amen. Our Father, our God, we thank you for allowing us to come together this morning. Thank you, God, for another life. To stand behind, let me stand behind this sacred desk one more time. Allow me to give peace that you may hear, peace that you may give the glory to God and the praise. Now, with the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart, be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. Amen. Listening to the still small voice. Have you ever sought a quiet place and could not really find one? You know, we look at a lot of places and we walk in different directions when we are trying to find the police. You see, we are surrounded by noises everywhere. If you look and listen at home, the television and the radio is blessed. Uh, in your basement, the washing machine is washing and shaking. In the kitchen, the toaster pops up. And sometimes it whistles. Then we hear the clocks ticking, doors slam, chairs squeak, dryers tumble, 
children cry, Amen. children laugh, and children fight. Yes. So where will you find a quiet place? It's hard to find a quiet place. If we leave home, there is more noise. The car engine clanks, seat belts, signal chimes, horns blow, trains rumble, sirens blare, bells ring, tires screech, cash registers chime, grocery baskets rattle. And beepers beep. Have any of you witnessed any of that in your daily work or walk? Everywhere we go, there is noise. Everywhere we go, we find there is some kind of problem. Even when we finally close our eyes at night, in a night of silence and sleep, someone sometimes snores, <laughs> including me. Good, good if you don't snore. That's good. It's not easy to find a quiet place. Have you tried the library? They should be quiet, but they are noisy too. Sometimes it's even hard to find quietness in the house of the Lord. Mm -hmm. People whisper, can the people's rattle? The members mumble, and sometimes even at worship, Amen. someone snores. Amen. Uh -huh. uh, cell phones ring. I know you all haven't heard of cell phone ring in church yet. There is a blessing in quietness. For there, a Christian can talk to God when it's quiet. Mm -hmm. Isaiah 30, 15 says that in quietness and confidence shall be your Strength. You see, uh, wherever we can find a quiet place or a, an acquired hour, we should use it to commune with God. You see, uh, God, He doesn't scream when He talks to you. In, in quietness, God talks to us. You know, we, 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 we sometimes we think uh, 